What's happening, everyone? We're back with some sap, and today we're hopping into the weekly pack where I got a 10 piece using a level 3 Falcon. Now, the Falcon is a tier 4 pet, and when you KO a pet from the opposing board, you summon that pet that you knocked out onto your field. And I honestly have been sleeping a lot on the Falcon. It's not a pet that I usually put in my custom packs, but after today's run, it's definitely going to be a consideration. Um, at tier 4, pretty good. Um, especially if you have supporting pets. Like in this weekly pack, it was just a perfect Falcon line. As you'll see, like we're going to have a turtle giving the Falcon a melon armor. And then we'll have a crane uh, behind that Falcon. So even when it loses its melon armor, it gets one back when it gets hurt. And we even have a stego always target the falcon because we give everything else a food perk and the result is just an unstoppable force it's really good the hedgehog gonna put in work for us here and i do think we lose actually because our cricket is only level one so we can't trade there but had a lot of fun in this weekly pack there's a lot of great targets for the falcon to steal um, I think there's Phoenix in this pack, there's Turtle, there's Wolf, and there's Nurikabe, which, like, when I went for this line, Nurikabe was the one where I was thinking it would be really cool to steal a Nurikabe. And fortunately, I think there's, like, three games where I steal a Nurikabe. So, it was a really cool. We're gonna get a double level here. We get the Falcon, we get a Turtle. There is double fairy, but I'm gonna go ahead, grab this falcon, pill the betta fish, and play the turtle. So now with this strategy with the turtle, we're almost guaranteed to get a KO with the turtle. I mean, nine attack on our falcon is really good at this point of the game. And as you see, we killed the Okapi, so we're able to put our own Okapi on the board. Sell the cricket there play the hatching chick and now we're just looking for the last hercules but we're just going to grab this avocado with our last three gold investing for next turn and we are the determined hedges and this hedgehog has low-key been the mvp thus far in this run steal the lucky cat there steal the alchem the alchemedes yeah and you're gonna see why like well you saw in the intro why the falcon doesn't have infinite amount of triggers we get the level on the hatching chick and play the crane here and i'm gonna the hatching chick is gonna go but for now i do like the buffs especially in this weekly pack and right here you're gonna see me actually steal this narakabe so boom and the crisp doesn't kill it because the narakabe um, is able to tank um some damage but we're gonna go ahead sell the hedgehog it was amazing for us thus far and monkey is the most consistent scaling in this weekly pack and we have one gold remaining we're going to go ahead give the experience to the falcon so we have the monkey and the turtle is sticking around so the turtle is going to be our monkey buff target next turn probably get rid of the hatching chick i think we get a really good tier six on level i think we do get the stego and falcon already putting a lot of work for us but we're gonna lose this match but surprisingly not to the hippo but the salmon of knowledge thought that was kind of interesting good to go ahead grab the level both these levels and we get double stego don't have enough to buy it just yet but we do find a chocolate or no we're gonna give the crane a honey pot just so the stego has a higher chance of hitting the falcon and it does it had a chance to hit the monkey, we got really lucky, and we're going to steal a level 2 Nurikabe. And that thing put in work for us, honestly. So that takes us to 5 wins. And we're going to go ahead, get this Stego to level 2. Don't like the tier ups, so I'm just going to roll past them. And I just give the monkey a rice, so the Stego is guaranteed to hit the Falcon. So now the Falcon is a 38 high health. And even though we got sniped by the lynx, it actually helped us out because the crane actually gave the falcon a melon. And this is why falcons don't have infinite triggers because that would have been a endless battle there. So we take the W there, taking us to six. Um, don't know why I gave the grape to the monkey instead of the stego. 
I honestly don't know why I'm forcing Grape in general. I guess I thought my team was so powerful that I can just grab Grapes. Um, I don't really grab Grape that often. And I don't even know why I grab the mana. I feel like I just, I'm just i trying to make the mana work. The mana is just... it. I don't know. I think mana needs a rework. But we're going to give the Grape to the Stego there. And we get the level 2 Crane. And now our team is just amazing. I mean, we got so much melon armor so much protection and a good amount of stats yeah and even though we're going up against a level two turkey with a wolf we're actually gonna steal wolf sadly don't have enough space to get all the spawns but we're gonna win no problem there and we're in at eight wins three hearts left and i think i just win these next two no problem but i think I, yeah level three falcon here and we're gonna hold on to the grizzly bear now the idea, we're going to give the Stego a popcorn way better than a grape. The idea with the Grizzly Bear is I want to steal an opponent's Nurikabe. And at level 3, the Nurikabe can survive a good amount of hits. And the hope is that it gives the Grizzly Bears extra triggers. And actually this one mana here, this is funny. This one mana here actually gives us the melon um, removal on the turkey there. So hey. Maybe that mana I bought actually meant something. Probably not. And the weirdest for, uh, turn, tier, uh, turn 14 you'll ever see. I bought a blueberry, I bought a cupcake, and I buy a lollipop. Very questionable plays. But this is going to be the final match. I do steal a Nurikabe, but they kill my grizzly bear. They had a crocodile, so it didn't matter anyways. It was going to die. But I am able to steal their piggy. And that is the run. Thank you all so much for watching. If you want more Super Auto Pets, subscribe. I'm out of here. Peace out.